Fargo is a 2018 post-apocalyptic zombie movie starring Martin Freeman. The Netflix original film follows Freeman's character, Andy, as he escorts his daughter Rosie across the Australian outback. Left with only 48 hours before he transforms into a zombie, Andy must find a new guardian for his child. Throughout this video, I will be discussing Cargo's ending, as well as what I think caused the viral outbreak. Obviously, there will be heavy spoilers in this video, so I highly recommend that you give this a miss if you want to go into the film with fresh eyes. With that out the way, I'm Definition, and this is my ending explain video for Cargo. After being attacked by a zombie when searching for supplies on a yacht, Andy's wife is in dire need of help. Infected by a virus that causes mucus to pour from all orifices, uncontrollable spasms, and an eventual transition into the undead, she seems like a lost cause. However, the family man refuses to give up on her and sets out looking for help with his partner and daughter. Whilst driving across the Australian wilderness in an attempt to find a hospital, Andy crashes the car and when trying to unbuckle his daughter, he is bitten by his infected wife. Humans carrying the disease normally have a 48 hour window before the virus takes over, but due to the crash, Andy's wife dies prematurely and transforms from this point onward. Continuing his journey to the hospital for medical aid, Andy encounters Toomey. This aborigine girl is a ward to her infected father and even though her family are looking for her, she refuses to return to them. Andy, devastated with his wife's passing and anxious over the fact that his days are numbered, leaves the girl to her own devices and searches for someone to take care of his child. On the road he encounters Vic and after saving his life, Andy is given shelter. Invited hunting by Vic, he quickly discovers that his new ally is in fact using Toomey as bait in order to loot the corpses of the undead. This affects Andy to no end, and that night he attempts suicide. Vic's quote-unquote girlfriend, Lorraine, stops him, and when Vic stumbles across the two talking in the dead of night, he suspects that they are having an affair and turns on Andy. Andy awakes in a cage with Toomey, but by using his wits manages to escape with the girl. They return to the camp in order to save Lorraine, who earlier on tried to make Andy aware of Vic's true nature, but she is shot in the process and they flee into the night. With less than 24 hours to live, Andy sets out with Toomey to find the girl's family and it's a harrowing journey. There are several run-ins with zombies and humans alike and the three barely make it through the ordeal. Aware that he is near death, Andy rubs rotten flesh onto his stick and picks Toomey up. Toomey sticks the flesh rod out in front of Andy and, similar to a carrot on a stick with a donkey, he takes Toomey back to her family. Reunited with her family, Toomey is taken to an outback paradise where Rosie can be safely raised. We see Andy's shirt hanging on a tree with a bunch of branches and bark surrounding his body for the final shot and this is a motif of an aboriginal funeral showing that he was accepted and thanked by Toomey's family. It's a fitting end for the character and a bittersweet moment that tops off this brilliant film. When theorising what caused the zombie outbreak, one must first examine the symptoms that the infected display. The most notable is the fact that they dig holes into the ground and bury their head into them. In the animal kingdom, similarities can be found in the parasitic organism, a horse hair worm. This creature infects insects and causes them to commit suicide or act in an extremely peculiar way. Initially, their larvae is laid upon the bottom of rivers, but as they are unable to swim, they must wait to be eaten. During their digestion period, typically in crickets, mosquitoes and other pond life, they will eventually drive their host to leap to their death into water, where they can then hatch from the abdomen and continue their cycle of life. The horsehair worm even goes so far as to stop a cricket from making its stereotypical chirping noise in order to avoid detection from other animals. It does not want its host to be harmed under any circumstances. I believe that the infected are driven by parasites that are subterranean earth creatures. This is backed up by the fact that that throughout the film there are several posters and paraphernalia that mention fracking. Fracking is the process of injecting liquid at high pressure into subterranean rocks and boreholes so as to force open existing fissures and extract oil or gas. This constant mining of the earth could have disturbed the parasite and caused it to rise to the surface. This would explain why the infected are constantly attempting to dig back into the dirt and seek out darkness which environmentally would be similar to their habitat. And to me it's the only explanation. 
I'd love to hear your thoughts and theories on what has caused the zombie outbreak, so please leave them in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video then please like it and subscribe to my channel as I post ending explain videos across a wide range of media and there will definitely be something on the channel that you love. I recently discussed the ending of Deadpool 2 as well as God of War and you can check those videos out linked at the end of this one. Thanks very much for taking the time to watch this, I'll see you next time, take care, peace.